So, Randy, your mom asked me to tell you a bedtime story tonight. Where's the storybook? No book needed. All you need is a little imagination. There once was a strapping young prince named Prince Randall Remington. He was brave and noble. And one day, while walking through the mystical forests of his kingdom, he heard a scream. Ah! I was just trying to get some help zipping up my dress. Prince Randall searched for the source of the noise when he saw a breathtakingly beautiful princess being attacked by the evil woodland creatures of the mystical forest. So Prince Randall pulled out his sword and ran to help the princess. Prince Randall fought hard until eventually the woodland creatures, led by the evil Squirrel King Laos, retreated back into the woods, leaving only the prince and the princess. Hold on, Grandpa. Let me guess. Prince Randall saves the princess, marries her, and lives happily ever after. <laughs> of course! But that's not realistic. Well, if it's not realistic, how would you end the story? So Prince Randall saves the girl, but she wants nothing to do with him. You're a princess, and I'm a prince. So? What does that have to do with anything? Our union would like to unite our kingdoms and form a strong alliance throughout the country. Great. Just another practical union. But it is. We're the same age, same rank. We want the same things like two, two kids, kids and a pet, pet dragon. dragon. But that's not how love works. You can't spend forever with someone because it's practical. I'm sorry, Prince Randall, but forever should be about love. But... wait! So the prince is trying to think of a way to win over the beautiful princess when he has an idea. Prince Randall spent all day decorating the princess's room until it was perfect. He covered the room in bright red flowers to show the princess his love. So he shoves the bouquet of flowers into her face, and it turns out she's allergic and dies. She dies? Randy, I really think... Prince Randall didn't even know the princess, but he wanted to spend the rest of his life with her. If he had known her at all, he would have known she was allergic to the flowers. But it, it's just a fairy tale. They're supposed to end with happily ever afters. The princess was right, Grandpa. You can't just marry someone because it makes sense. You have to know the person. Then you won't kill them. Well, Helen, that is the last time I am telling your son a bedtime story. Thank you.